نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم And I ask Allah to inspire me words that becomes the, reason, becomes the means and the reason for the deliverance in the day of Qiyamah. And from the emancipation from the fire of Jahannam. It is a great opportunity that Allah has gave me and you the tawfiq and another chance in life to reach in the month of Ramadan, Mubarak. There's many people who was fasting last year But Allah's hukum has come, the order of Allah has come. They have left and departed from this world. There is many people who was fasting last year, but because of the severity of the illness, because of the severity of the illness, they can't fast in the month of Ramadan. Some people, I will come to this, some people take the advantage saying that because I am doing long shift hours of work, I cannot fast. This is not a reason for a person not to fast. So why has Allah has ordained and made mandatory upon me and you this Ramadan and Mubarak? There is two categories of people. There is one category. When Ramadan comes they say, Oh, They complain. They say, oh no. Another month has come. I have to stay away from my food. Everything for the whole day. And this is a sign of hypocrisy. This is a sign of hypocrisy. That a person when Ramadan comes, he doesn't find it in enjoyment. He doesn't become happy. He becomes stressed. He becomes worried, oh no, Ramadan has come again. But there's another category of person, when Ramadan or Mubarak comes in, he feels joy and happiness that Alhamdulillah, Ramadan al Kareem, Barakallahu fi, Ahlan wa Sahlan, may Ramadan come with ease and happiness. This is supposed to be the attitude, the behavior of the Muslims. This is supposed to be the character and the attitude of the behavior of the Muslims. That they accept Ramadan and embrace Ramadan willingly, happily, with open hands. Alhamdulillah. The Ramadan al-Mubarak, fasting in the month of Ramadan, it is not hard for the believing ones. It is not difficult for the mu'mins. It is difficult for the hypoc hypocrites. It is difficult, difficult like for the hypocrites. For example, I give you one example in the Quran. For the mu'min to pray two rakat salat, for the, for the hypocrite to pray two rakat salat, it is difficult for him. It's the same. For, for the hypocrite to fast in the month of Ramadan, it is difficult for him. But for the mu'min, it doesn't matter even if it's 17 hours or 18 hours. But Alhamdulillah, free willingly, he's accepting and he's saying, Alhamdulillah, Amanna wa saddaqna, Amanna billah wa saddaqna. We believe in Allah, we believe in Allah, and we believe in all the hukm Allah has revealed. <coughs> so why has Allah ordained upon me and you? In our worldly affairs, we understand very easily. What is this? If a person is driving a car and he doesn't service his car, there's no service in his car for one year, two year, three year, what is going to happen to his car? In simple words, the value of the car is going to lose and maybe this car would not last him for longer time. It will not take him longer. If you buy a car, a cheap car, but you have good service, you have a MOT, you are maintaining this car all the time, then this will take you far and longer. But if you're not servicing your car, you're not maintaining your car, there's no maintenance in your life, in, in this car, then obviously this car is not going to last you. Simple as this. Allah is throughout the 11 months, throughout 11 months, Allah said, eat my servant, kulu washrabu, eat, drink, wala tusrifu, 
but do not waste. But now my servant, now my servant, it is the hukum that now you fast and you stop from food and drink from a certain time, for a very short period of time, not a very long time, for a very short period of time. Why? Allah is refining, Allah is maintaining the service of our Iman. Allah is refining, maintaining the service of our Iman. Because this Iman, throughout 11 months of the year, it becomes corro corroded, it becomes rusted. Because the actions of deeds that we are doing throughout these 11 months, the actions and deeds that we are doing, our Iman becomes rusted. Our Iman becomes rusted. But when Ramadan or Mubarak comes in, because you have to remember, we have to understand in the Hadith, Ya Ma'ashar al-Shabaab, O oh, you young people, what does the Hadith say? That you to fast, you to marry, if you cannot marry, it's better for you to fast. Because if you fast, your desire and your, your desire that you have inside, it reduces. It reduces. So naturally when a person is fasting, he is reducing, he is minimizing his desire. He is minimizing his desire. So he doesn't want to do haram. He doesn't want to commit a sin. So Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuha al-ladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyam, kama kutiba ala al-ladheena min qabilikum la'allakum tattakum. This hukum of Ramadan is not something new. If it was something new, then it would have been something else. But this hukum has been given to the ummah of the previous. And it is given hukum to you. Why? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you can become God-fearing. So that piety can grasp you. So that your iman can elevate and come to another level. Your iman can elevate and come to another level. This is the reason for Ramadan al Mubarak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this fasting, ordained this upon me and you first. Which means that something that is first, for example, salat is first, hajj is first, zakat is first. If a Muslim, a mu'min, a believer rejects and denies the first hukum of Allah, he will become a kafir. And if a person neglects, he neglects fasting, he, ne he neglects his salah, he neglects his hajj, he neglects his zakat, then this becomes, this person becomes a fasid, an open sinner. There's many Muslims who are not fasting in Ramadan, many. They don't understand, they don't see the importance of Ramadan and Mubarak. Tell me, the mother who tells the child not to eat certain food for a certain time, the mother doesn't have any personal benefit for herself. She always thinking for the child. 